why are females silent players in sex in this society why do they spend their life as deaf blind and dumb in this matter why does the society make them like this what is the society the society is what you and me are if you and me are exploitative the society too will be exploitative man keeps on fantasizing sex as the ultimate remedy to his mental chaos and to get this remedy he must have a woman's body to ensure that the woman's body is always available the man must keep the woman in bondage otherwise she may or she may not acquiesce is it not very straightforward is it not all in line with the ancient pattern of the ego what is surprising about this but what you are not seeing is that just as the man wants to enslave the woman because the ego is hungry for satiation and being hungry it cannot let go of its promised food similarly the woman too wants to hold the man captive their ways are different man may use physical force the woman would use force of the emotion and if the woman is powerful in some other ways she will use that power so it is great to be compassionate towards women but it is greater to first of all understand where all this exploitation stems from then you will be compassionate towards both men and women you must realize that it is the fundamental nature of mankind to be exploitative man exploits woman and woman too in her own enslaved way exploits man of course one can go only as far as one's apparent powers allow and one can exercise his powers only in the dimension where one is powerful so both do that both are masters of their own respective dimensions and both want to have slaves in their own dimensions man and woman together both of them have to realize this sordid game that is being played behind their back no man realizes what his true relationship with a woman is and neither does a woman realize what being related to a man means unless they both realize that there would be suffering for both the nature of suffering the appearance of suffering might differ but suffering is suffering
man cannot live in peace when the woman is suffering and when the woman is suffering how will she ever want peace for the man you must see you must be liberated and then you will help all men and all women around you to see and deliberate it it is not then a gender specific thing